you have to push hard on it? No, not too hard, no. It just draw itself close. Make sure the handle starts where it's supposed to when you put it down. Okay, there's a note that says position handle here. Yeah, that's it. Before closing? Yeah. So pull it up and position the handle there. Stop, not seating. Let's try again. One more time. So hold it down with one hand and use the, the handle with the other hand if you can. Or you can, yeah, that's probably the best thing. But if you need to wedge in there, I can wedge you in there. Is that helping? Well, no, it feels like the, like I said, the hatch isn't seating down on it, on the mating surface. And it doesn't seat all the way down, so, because the, 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 the dog is driving, you drive it in a little bit, too. Okay, well, how can I tell? If, the, if, the, if you get where it's supposed to start, yeah, and start, does that like it's coming in? No. Are you sure? I don't think it would move if it, uh... Okay, I'll try turning the handle. I think you got it. Good work. All right. And lock the tab. It's locked. That's a lock. Okay, good job, Stan. Thank you. Okay, excellent. All right. Can you both verify for me your SCUs are connected? Uh, EV1 SCU is connected. EV3 SCU is connected. Water's been off for more than two minutes, so we're good there. And EV8 hatch is closed and locked. So you may disconnect your waist tethers from the crew lock D ring. That's going to leave like. That's okay, so don't. No problem, you can leave it. Okay, I've got uh, On the UIA racks, yeah. check the oxygen for EMU 1 and 2. Uh, two valves are open. Okay, I'm going to have to dig under here a little bit. And Peggy, we made a mess of your airlock. There's a lot of junk in here. You going to still let us in? Okay, oxygen. EMU 1 and 2 are open. Okay, excellent. Now I want you to switch the power for EV1 and 2 to on. Okay, I have six more here. Power, EV1, and this will be stand 2. Let's see if I can get it there. Okay, EV1 power is on. EV2 power is on. And check for those LEDs and volts 18 to 19. Got four LEDs and 18.5 volts. Great. All right. Now on your DCMs, both of you, switch power to SCU and expect the warning tone. Okay. ev one going power to SCU and I'll report afterwards. Okay. ev one's in uh, SCU and I get a power restart and light lights out. is in SCU with a power restart. Okay, great. Now, if you could take your O2 actuators to press. Okay, I'm going to leave my mini workstation down. Okay, copy. No, I'm not there yet. Hang on a sec. Sorry. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Okay, we're out of the way. I'm not there. I go now. Okay, we're out of the way. Okay, we're both in fast, Peg. Hey, great. 
Great. Uh, we're going to skip the com mode uh, step, and uh, we've checked that the – actually, I need you to stand to check and make sure the MPEV on the EV hatch is closed. It's closed, Peggy. Okay, great. And uh, Atlantis, there's possible DPDT because we're going to start the repress. Because I have the two guys account sitting next to me, and they say, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and um, I'm going to start um, start the equalization now, and it, you can expect an alert tone. And also, uh, let me know if you need me to slow down uh, how fast we're, we're equalizing, okay? Okay, I copy. Roger. And Peggy, before you do open the hatch, so make sure you let me know if I can tend the, the debris, so not the debris, but the, uh, all the equipment. <laughs> Understand. We're, we're, we got a we got a couple steps to go before that. Oh, Here comes fine. equalization oh, I know. I know. initiation. I feel it. Thanks. Get to four point oh. You're going to expect an alert tone. When you get to five. Um, I'm going to shut it back off, so if you can give me intermittent reading. Okay, all I see is 1.6. Copy, 1.6. All I see is 3.0. Four. 